Um, yeah, it's actually this way. So, uh, 4.6 litre V8, 385 newton metres of torque, uh, 350 horsepower. It is a beast on the highway. Uh, you just, the looks that you get when, when you drive this car. Uh, no, it's actually, it's actually this one right here. Um, I mean, well, the, basically, I'm from Australia, and uh, when I moved here, I really wanted to make sure that I was just immersing myself in the North American lifestyle, I guess you could say, you know, where everything's bigger and everything's to excess, and, I mean, I didn't want to get a Toyota Corolla or a Honda Civic, because you can get them in Australia. I wanted to get the most gregarious and obnoxious automobile possible and this one is made in Canada so it's basically it runs off maple syrup. I mean when I first got here there were a lot of uh, different options. I went online, um, you know, I went out to car dealers I, and then one day I just happened to see it. I just got electricity that just went straight through me. And I knew I had to have her. I knew I needed her. It's definitely not a car for this time period. Um, it's like a time capsule. Uh, it's a, a reflection of a bygone era. I mean, it, it gets about eight miles to the gallon. But there's a silver lining to everything. I'm at my local gas station every day, uh, and I made a really good friendship with Sanjeev, uh, a guy that, uh, I mean, I've become really close with, and that never would have happened if I drove a Prius. Do you just ever look outside at people's cars and think, what are you doing? You have no idea what you're missing out on. It's, it's really sad. I mean, like, how do they expect me to get in here? Totally parked me in. You know, in a, in a normal car, that would be a problem. Like, I mean. How's little little old lady Mrs. Page getting in this thing? Well, she's not. So normal car. She's she's calling a tow truck. Come and have a look in here. All right. So see this magic here. Slide that open. Slide all the way across. <laughs> I get in real easy, you know, and we're we're ready to go. I mean, when you're in this car, it's kind of like being a pilot you're being in the cockpit. Um, I mean, you've got all your instrument panel here, your controls, and you've got your checklist before you set up. So always put the key in first. I don't start it, okay? And I always make sure that I got my driving gloves, okay? Because you just wanna make sure that you've got safety protection before you drive. Little fun fact, these are the exact same gloves OJ wore. A lot of people don't know, but uh, this is the exact same car that the police have used for the last 20 years. You can see it in, in cops and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So when I'm getting a little bit bored, I like to do this. Yeah, 605, we got a 420. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, we got a 504 right up here on Murbank. We're gonna you know, get up there and we're gonna check it out. You see a lot of them everywhere, and sometimes I'll I'll wave to the other people driving them. They don't wave back because they're usually really old and they don't see me. But like, you do see them out there, so they'll do the speed limit. People are doing 20 under the speed limit, uh, but I mean it's a safe journey, and, and I get to where I'm going safe, and the people around me uh, are safe too. So I feel like I'm doing the, the community some small favor in, in that way.
Do you think you'll ever have to sell the car? I mean... I really don't want to think about that. 